inside of what kind of molecule? DNA. How do we know DNA? I actually keep a visual track of what the students are doing. So, you know, I write down the CFA scores and I write down the review scores. That's what I want to see. And so, if you know, if they're green across for that student, I know that student's doing fine. If they're white across, then they're, you know, they're in the mid-range. You know, they're like in the 7 and 8 range out of 10. And then, um, then if they're in the yellow, I know they need work. And so, with that, I can direct the student, you know, especially when it gets to the review time, you really need to focus on the molecular. You really need to focus on the cell biology, you know. So I can see that and I can go back and look at that. I can guide the student individually and then um, I can also, if I see a trend in my class, I, in the beginning I always do review questions. I can guide my questions in the, the where my class is uh, weak. I want the exam to be the easiest test they've ever taken. But really, in the end, I want them to have a knowledge of biology and a love for biology and the, um, the process to get there. I want them to learn the process. You know, it's not memorization. It's really about understanding, and I want them to, I want them to get all of that. There's a lot of life lessons that I go through in my class, you know, teaching them the right way to do things, teaching them about integrity, you know, teaching them about um, working together, collaboration, group work, being responsible to your group, being responsible to yourself. All that goes into what I do along with the personalized learning.